I wanted to change what Duke was capable of doing and part of that involved bringing a 3D printer to campus. It's an amazing opportunity to, to have this tool here at Duke. Virtually any shape that we can draw on the computer can be translated into a real part and it can be translated at a speed that is uh, orders of magnitude faster than traditional methods. It's something that many undergraduates may never get access to and I think it's unique that Duke has this. So there's two senior design groups working with the printer this semester. They're both working in the medical field. So one group is making the implants for large bone defects and there's another group making uh, spinal cages for spinal fusion surgeries. So it's really fun to go meet with a doctor or a surgeon and talk to them about the problems they're facing, how their devices are currently working, why that device needs to be improved, and then be able to come in here and without any limitations really create a geometry that satisfies the needs that they have. One of the things we do very commonly as spine surgeons is have to put in small cages into people's spines, which can help bone grow in the direction you want it to. They've been working on a titanium printed cage, which is pretty common, but the way they're doing it is really unique, giving it a special surface and a lattice work inside to really minimize the amount of metal that uh, is used and in process give it ability uh, for the body to incorporate it much better. We're able to thin the structure out so that it images better on a CT scanner so that doctors can verify that there's bone growing right through this hole right here. It's a tool that we didn't have before that allows us to create uh, much more complex and useful designs at a pace that, that uh, otherwise couldn't be done. You would not be able to implant these parts. Uh, they're not cleared through the FDA, but these are the, they, of the quality that you could eventually implant into humans. And they're, so they're getting to work on a real problem that has a real solution. So I have a question that will test what you believe about the 3D printer. Would you implant these in yourself? I'd much rather have a design that is printed and optimized versus something that's just on the market. For the students to be able to actually make real parts that match what the doctors want designed and then to actually test those parts is something that you would rarely see at a university all the way through those levels. That collaboration, understanding the clinical need and understanding what the capabilities of cutting edge science are and adding the two together is going to be game changing. I think traditionally it would be extremely hard for someone like me to not only print on a printer like this and create finalized products, but then take it over to a medical center, meet with surgeons, and then perform CT scans and tomography scans of any sort on my device all within the same day. That's extremely unique and, and not necessarily happening in many other institutions.